Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about the differences in doing digital art and traditional hand-painted work. This was requested by Angus, who left a comment on last week's video. If you don't know Angus, you bloody well should. He has this awesome channel called Strack Chat. He does daily vlogs. He's way more diligent with his YouTube channel than I am. And he's just, he's awesome. He's a good mate of mine. And I highly, highly recommend you check him out. So I will leave Angus's channel below. I miss him and Molly so much. <laughs> so yeah, today's video is going to be about digital art versus traditional art. I'm a fan of both. I do both for very different reasons and I'm going to talk to you about that today, <laughs> which I've already clarified. You guys may have seen uh, some time-lapse videos that I have done in the past of digital illustrations and I will say they tend to be a little bit clunky because I am useless at the software that I have for recording my screen. I think I use OB, OBS or something like that. I don't know, my husband installed it and he said that video game YouTubers use it and I trust his judgment. I use digital art. I've been using uh, digital illustrations for a very long time, but I started really committing to it uh, as of September last year. I started using the Surface Pro and I friggin love it. Uh, I love it because unlike an iPad, you can connect your keyboard to it and it's a fully fledged laptop when you want it to be otherwise it's a tablet. I use Leonardo it's currently in beta mode so I paid 40 bucks for the whole program and once it's released it's going to be about $80 so if you're interested in getting a very handy drawing software I highly recommend Leonardo. I've actually spoken to the creator. <laughs> I've emailed him and chatted with him before. He's super duper lovely. I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but editing tells we'll put it here for you. He's super nice and he appreciates all feedback to do with the program. I think uh, the first time I contacted him, I just gave him a bit of praise and I was like, hey, I love this thing that you did. Um, thank you for putting it out there. And he was like, if you ever have anything that you would like to see changed or fixed, let me know. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I realized they don't have a bucket tool and it drove me insane. And then before I even had the chance to email him, a week later there was an update and there was a bucket tool. So I don't know if someone else mentioned that to him, but it's awesome to see a program that is thinking the way I'm thinking. <laughs> and I know a lot of people swear by Procreate. I just couldn't justify buying an iPad of any kind because I needed a computer. When I moved to the US, I had to sell my Mac. I didn't want to have to hook up like a Cintiq or something like that to draw on that. So I just went and got a Surface Pro instead. Plus I felt like for what you were getting for the price of the iPad, you may as well get a laptop. That's just my opinion. You might be like screaming at me that I don't know what I'm missing and that's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. For now I'm really happy with my Surface Pro. I'm gonna insert some artwork here that I've done on Leonardo for you just so you get an idea of the kind of work that I have done for myself and also for clients. So some of this is gonna involve a bit of client work um, that has been released. I'm not sharing anything that has not yet been released because <laughs> I'm just a little bit worried. I also did all my Inktober illustrations last year on my Surface Pro using Leonardo. So I'm gonna leave a couple of those there too. It was a learning curve. I'd never drawn that much digitally before and I, I kid you not, I could have spent like 15 hours a day playing with it. <laughs> um, doing these illustrations, but it was a good test. I followed very little Peach's prompts and it was really fun. Um, so yeah, this is just some examples of what I do in terms of digital art. 98% of the time, that kind of work is used for a digital platform. So it's either on social media or it's used for blogs, websites, or maybe printing, but not super often like in zines and things like that. So um, the resolution has to be quite good and Leonardo is great for that. You can export to PSD, JPEG, TIFF, um, PNG, whatever you want. And a lot of the time I export to PNG or JPEG and then I will format it to the correct size in Photoshop just because I, I like to work big <laughs> on a digital uh, scale. So it's easier for me just to scale it down in Photoshop. So that is the majority of the kind of work that I do digitally. Whereas in traditional media, things are a lot slower. Traditional media, this is something I've been doing for a lot longer. I trained at art school in traditional media. When I graduated, I decided to continue with my love for watercolor and gouache and all things kind of water-based. And 
this channel came to be. I felt a lot more comfortable with dry media, like pens and like fine liners and things like that, and pencil and watercolors. Uh oh, there's a ladybug coming to visit us. Oh, hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to shake it No, you just want to shake it out. Okay. She's gonna go lay down over here. Huh? You can see a little tail. <laughs> you can see a little tail. Painting and drawing by hand is very therapeutic to me and once my skill got better at it after leaving art school, it became a very rewarding thing for me to do. It's also a very time um, focused task. So a lot of the time my illustrations that you see in these videos can go from anywhere between an hour to six hours. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to cut that down a lot. That's why these videos end up being kind of long. I think I get a better sense of satisfaction out of doing things by hand uh, because to me digital media doesn't have the same tactility, it doesn't have the same um, level of engagement for me. I, I have to be a lot more present in my traditional artwork as opposed to digital artwork. I can hit undo 30 times if I want to and it's kind of a crutch. So as much as I love um, digital media for the convenience and for the clientele that it brings me, Traditional media and the clients that I do work for in that regard are a lot more satisfying. So here are just a few things that I am currently doing and have done in the past um, using traditional media. I feel like my work is a little bit more dynamic in that sense. I, I am very grateful that I enjoy both, but I think if I had to pick a favorite, traditional media is definitely more of a favorite. What does this mean for my future as an illustrator? This means, <laughs> I don't know, I know for a fact that I want to be doing a mixture of both, but I think I want to lean more towards traditional media. So there are a few things that I'm going to update you on that I have been doing in the past and that I'm going to continue doing or change uh, in the future <laughs> with my shop and my practice itself. So you guys know I post videos here every week as best I can, there might be the odd week that I miss when I'm on deadline like the last month. but. For the most part, I am very consistent with my social medias. One thing that I am going to be doing in the next couple of months is opening up a second Etsy shop. So if you didn't know this already, I have an Etsy shop and it's basically all for temporary tattoos. And as awesome as that is, I'm very bored. <laughs> I'm very bored selling temporary tattoos. And I ran into a bit of trouble with Etsy because my Etsy shop was opened in Australia and I can't list an American bank account um, with an Australian Etsy shop. Don't know why. Uh, my location is allowed to be moved, but I can't add a different bank account. So I have to create a second shop. I've decided to make temporary tattoos one shop and art things <laughs> another shop, which will be things like prints, stickers, any kind of merchandise. And that will be a mix of traditional media and digital media. So you'll have things like stickers, which may be drawn digitally, and then you'll have commissions that are available to be done hand painted and traditional media they will be in a limit uh, i can't do more than like two a month honestly it would drive me crazy but i'm very excited to be doing both of those things keep your eyes peeled for that i will definitely be announcing it when the time comes but i feel like that's a really great way to mash my two interests in digital and traditional art by putting it into the one shot both serve a great purpose in my practice sometimes this one might be, you know, not feeling so great, but this one might be doing really well and vice versa. Um, so it's really just a matter of taking the time to really put your energy into one of them. I can't really do both at the same time. Um, if I'm working on a private commission for someone and it's a traditionally paint-based portrait, any kind of digital art that I have to do is probably going to be put on hold unless the deadline is sooner than this guy. So I, I find it very hard to like cross the two. <laughs> There's a lot of gesturing going on here today. But yeah, I find um, that I have to really be diligent and separate myself from one and the other. In fact, uh, most of the time if I'm doing digital art, I will sit on the couch rather than sitting at my desk because I feel like I get a lot more neck and back pain sitting at my desk because I'm hunching over a lot more to look at screen. My screen is collapsible with the Surface Pro, so it like basically hits the desk and I'm like hunched. <laughs> It's not good. So uh, I feel like if I'm at least sitting up and I've got something supporting me bringing it up to me on the couch, it's a lot easier to do. I enjoy both. Uh, I think both serve a really great purpose in my practice, as I said, 
and I encourage you to try either if you've never drawn before. Obviously buying something like a Surface Pro can be quite an expensive thing to do. Maybe just see if you can find an old Wacom tablet or something on eBay. You could download the trial of Leonardo for 30 days and just see how you feel with it. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I, I think $40 for a program that is going to be worth $80 is amazing. And given that it's in beta, you have the chance to put in your opinion on how the program should operate and what changes you would like to see. So I think it's really worth the investment. If you're interested in learning about traditional media, there are so many things you can do to learn about it and to better your practice. YouTube is a great learning resource. There are so many free learning resources on the internet. You don't necessarily need to be paying money to learn how to draw or have an interest in traditional art. There are a lot of tutorials here on YouTube. There are a lot of people on Instagram that are encouraging art for therapy and things like that if that's something you're interested in. And there's, there's just a lot of opportunity to learn how to do something in a traditional media. Okay guys, I think that's everything. I definitely talked for way too long. I will see you guys next week. Have a lovely weekend and happy 4th of July for next week as well. I don't know if I'll be recording this on the 4th, so if I don't see you by then. Have a great 4th of July. <laughs> Bye. I'm not wearing like any makeup today, so it feels very odd. My hair also looks crazy. Hello guys. I look like fucking Mia Thermopolis or something. I'm a fan of both. I do both for very different reasons and I'm going to talk to you about that today, <laughs> which I've already clarified already. Can you tell I've got a bit of cabin fever? I've had to shut the curtains because the Florida sun is coming in and it is hot as dicks. One thing they don't tell you about living in Florida is the feels like temperature and the actual temperature are vastly different. So they may say it's going to be 33 degrees, but it might feel like 41. I basically live in hell. <laughs> private commission for someone and it's a tradition and it's a tradition